yeah this is the first video that i am um, making in 2021 so um here is me wishing you a happy new year and um wishing that the best of everything comes to you in this year so let's just grow together okay now Baba, they don't bust us for fat true. Now that police, EFCC. And we kill all those dirty rats. Ah, Baba! Unleash me! Unleash me! Make her go out there, Baba! If they burn you where? If they burn you where? Do you not stand up! Come and meet me! You don't think for anything! You don't stand for nothing! Up! You don't get! No! You don't get! But, but, but Ram, these guys, they are bad guys. No, I have never smoked before. What happened to Nimbe? I just know this little boy don't change. Holy Shaolin Temple! Your son don't talk to Ninja! You gotta disobey your parents, Abby. Eh? No, no, sir. You go say parental guardians say what? It's a manufacturing agency. Magbeti Yard, Adam. I will slap you, go see your period. I will kill you for this. I will kill you. You still get mirror for your room. And that mirror know the advice you. Because this shit is hot. <laughs> From what? now on, Nimbe is my favorite cousin. Squeeze it! Keep it! But for all the money we are spent on you to go school, you got everything for you! You are Enough. hired! Enough! Let me tell him how he has failed as a father. But this is home now. Hello guys, welcome to yet another edition with the Consulty. My name is Chacha Wabara for the Consulty. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time here, what we do are movie reviews. And if that is what you're looking for, please hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notification and let's do this okay thank you so much for joining me and to my returning subscribers and viewers thank you so much for always you know staying with me and um you know encouraging me to do so much more we'll be reviewing a nigerian movie titled nimbe and um shots I think it's a 2019 movie i watched it on netflix and um, it's such an amazing story let me not go ahead of myself it's a film trick production directed by tokwe alake starring toye abraham odunlade adekola uh, chimezie imo doi davis kelechi udegbe uh, sani danja and brushagi was actually there and uh, Molawa Davis, right? So this movie, um, the plot is around, um, it has to do with a family of three, okay? Tony Abraham, um, Odun Lade, and um, their son, okay, who is Nimbe, okay? And Nimbe is a very, very good child. Nimbe is um, a teenager, okay? And growing up in a home, in the slums, right where the, the parents are not literate enough and um, they struggle okay so his dream is to excel and make his parents proud but in as much as he was trying his best to excel in school and all that you would find out that he, he was growing up in a home that wasn't stable enough okay parents were always fighting and the home was not stable enough for him so he would always go away to you know have a quiet time with himself draw you know he liked to draw and um, that was his own way of coping and in school he was always bullied. He didn't have peace at home or joy. And he obviously did not have peace in school. But he was coping the best way he could. Which um, at that point in, you know, in the movie, it excellently portrayed reality that most families face. Most Nigerian movies do not show you that nitty gritty of, you know, what families... 
as a matter of fact not just um, families in the slums or whatever what you have what have you families you know go through um, it's not all happy happy sunshine sunshine okay so they perfectly captured that thing Tony Abraham and Odulade you know, you know I was glued to the screen I did not want to miss a thing which does not happen all the time for me when it comes to Nollywood movies so that's to show you that it was the acting was brilliant and going further um, the movie tries to show you when the home is unstable it tends to rub off the kids okay just like Nimba was now you know plunged into that world of drugs and um, alcoholism because he did not have the guidance of his parents to see him through that rough patch so it, it, it affected his, his his education it affected his life completely you know so name bear which is the name of the movie is a lesson to most parents because you will find out that in the movie Nim Bear had a friend okay who came from a well-to-do home but his parents were never there to steer him on the right path and he just went a wire and lost his focus as well and they uh, became uh, you know became addicted to hard drugs and all that like Nim Bear these two teenage boys um, each from the extreme part of um, of families, either um, the rich family, the rich home, or uh, from a poor home, who the unstable environment um, of their families pushed them into becoming drug addicts and um, you know losing their way subsequently. You will find out that you know Toy Abraham was a joy to watch from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie she interpreted that aquaibon woman who is married to a yoruba man in a yoruba uh, you know uh, uh, environment or location so to say and ha didn't have anybody who just you know depended on her son for you know light at the end of the tunnel so she portrayed that mother who was trying her best despite the little that she had to make sure that her son would get the best that he she could have fought for him to get despite the fact that her husband you know made their marriage unbearable for her okay on the other hand Odulade was the perfect um irresponsible father who felt that you know asserting himself violently would you know make his family uh worship him or i don't know fear him or you know do his bidding so he was always violent he was always um confrontational he was always you know abusive so he portrayed that character to the t and it was you know it was gripping to watch because i was it's kind of like um unveiling so many things that you actually take for granted in in nigerian families or families in general so it was a wonderful uh, um narrative that was that you know such that they acted out their roles in the way they were supposed to act it out. then on to the scene of um you know the drug addicts or the drug life and you know Broshagi, the boss and them all there ak you know the boss is known as ak you know moving of the drugs and all that shows you how the slums how they manage you know how they live their lives addicted to hard drugs you know and how they struggle or accept that way of living you would see that um toy abraham along the way or along the line you know much as she loved her son and all that she kind of like accepted it you know i was wondering when your wonderful son when your husband chased you out of the house you found refuge in um your friend's home that's rachel okonkwa sorry i didn't mention her initially 
um Nkoli wants to cash it. That's that's how she calls herself on Instagram, right? So um Rachel Nkonko was her friend, her, her co hairdresser in the salon who gave her shelter. It was kind of curious. Maybe that was how they wanted the movie to go, but I found a question mark there. Why Tony Abraham didn't take her son as well? after ak initially had sent him back to her why she didn't take her son with her to her friend's place she just went there and literally supposedly forgot her son who she was supposed to be holding and then comes you know subsequent things that happen in the movie you should watch the movie it's you know it's an unforgettable movie that you need to watch and then comes when Bear's dad her husband comes and says where is me Bear? she says ah he's with his friends and she now leads him to you know that that place that's you know where they all hang out we had drug addicts and all that hang out and he kept he stood up and said oh you are a bad father you are this you are that i didn't really get that point yes he would have said that under different circumstances but um, how tony abraham just left nimbe like that and forgot nimbe they didn't show anything that you know related to her making an effort again to say nimbe carry your bag go can't stay, can't stay where are they still you know they didn't show that so uh, that place was on the extreme and uh, another question mark that i found you know uh something that wasn't right in um, nimbe was um ak and the other guy the other drug lord who met up in the church for crying out loud this is not a mexican movie this is not an american movie where the drug lords supposedly meet in a church so it wasn't funny at all uh we should just stick to what we understand this is a nigerian movie sun setting in um you know all the things that we know and understand okay so we don't need to adopt you know what um, we see in american movies or uh um mexican movies yeah, because we, we always know that uh <laughs> drug lords meet up in church or they always carry one cross or the other please let's just stick to reality and um other than that it was great the subtitling was wonderful the um the the video editing was great the um everything was wonderful the lighting the sound everything was wonderful the location that they used everything was excellent right and um it's a wonderful movie for you to watch i would rate the movie um a six over ten they really did a wonderful wonderful a uh, 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 job there i didn't know that tony brown was such a good actress so thank you so much for watching which brings our uh, movie review to an end if this is your first time here please hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notification so that you'll be alerted when new videos come up i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye